A museum here in Istanbul has made it its mission to show off the contributions made by Muslims to the science and technology world. It contains replica items that go right back to the 4th century, so we sent Elif Baraketli along for a look. Istanbul's Gülhane Park sits on the historic peninsula of the city. It's a popular stop for urbanites who want to relax and enjoy the beautiful nature here. But the park is not all about that. Lined with trees dating from the 1800s, it also has several museums. One of them is this unique science museum. Taken up thousands of square meters alongside the walls of Topkapı Palace, it displays 140 replicas of Islamic scientific and technical achievements. The museum starts here in the garden, where this large globe is the centerpiece. What makes it so interesting is the map on it, which was painted in the 9th century by the order of the 7th Abbasid Caliph Al Mamun. It displays with surprising accuracy the parts of the world which were known during his time. Astronomy, geography, chemistry and many other subjects. Replicas of inventions from many scientific areas are spread throughout the two-story museum. Detailed explanations are provided to make it understandable, not only for science geeks, but everyone. The project was brought into being by one dedicated man's work. The museum was founded in May 2008 and it is to be traced back to the lifelong work of Professor Dr. Fuad Seskin, who established in the beginning of the 80s a similar institute and museum. So he and his team worked for around 50 years to reconstruct all the models and instruments you can see here in this museum, to reconstruct them as authentically as possible based on the worldwide, mainly Arabic, manuscripts. German professor Detlev Quintern has been working on the museum project since the 1990s. He explains that the Islamic tradition of science and technology is undermined nowadays, but in its golden years from the 9th through the 17th centuries, its contribution was priceless knowledge became an important drive <laughs> to look for knowledge. In my opinion, mathematization of the cosmos was very important. The astrolabs, I mean, we have astrolabs already in the, let's say, Greek period, in brackets, but this precise mathematization and the extending of the functions to precisely measure, for example, fixed stars, and the relation, mathematical relation in the cosmos became very, very important. This holds true also for medicine. And there was universal inspiration for the Islamic and Arabic scientists. And their influence continued for centuries to come. Also, if you have a look at the Renaissance, so-called Renaissance, often Leonardo da Vinci he also used translated Arabic manuscripts for example, for the camera obscura and other fields of sciences. So the heritage also of the Renaissance is mainly written in Arabic. He believes one-sided history writing is the reason why Islamic contributions to science are undervalued in today's world. The main idea behind this museum is challenging Eurocentric interpretations of science and technology and offering history as a united whole, which makes Istanbul the best place for this project. After all, what better city to build another bridge between the East and the West than here? Elif Bereketli, TRT World, Istanbul. <laughs>